In this video, I'll show you several ways to use the crop tool to spice up your videos, including some clever ways you can combine crops with animations. There's a handy shortcut that makes things a lot easier too. Let's get into it. Let's talk about cropping in Camtasia. So here's my sample project. Uh, I've got a video file already in the media bin. Let's drag this down to the timeline, like so. Uh, I also have a sound effect file in here, but we'll get to that later. The way you would normally crop a video is you would highlight the video and then go up to the top here and look for this icon right here. This is the crop icon. So right now we've got the uh, edit icon selected. Uh, but we want to click on this one here. That's the crop icon. And when you do that, you notice the round circles turned into little blue squares. Okay. And you've got them at the four corners as well as the four edges. And to crop, you simply just click and drag any of these squares in. Okay. And you can crop in the corners like this. Okay, now I have canvas snapping on. Let's turn that off so we have a little bit more freedom. So you can just crop in like this and you can also crop in an edge. If you, if you grab an edge, it just slides the side, the edge, in, and, in or out. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, so that's how, you, that's how you crop. You use the crop tool and then click and drag the edges or the corners, just like that. Okay, the second way to do that. So let's just back up here. Well, I'll just control Z all the way back to here. So let's go back to the select tool. So with the select tool highlighted, if you're doing most of your work with the select tool or the edit tool, I believe it's also called a shortcut to, to get the crop handles, if you will, around the edge, just hold down the option key on a Mac like this or the alt key on windows and the edges you can see while I'm holding it down, the edges turn to the crop mode. Okay. So I'm in edit mode, but since I'm holding down the option key, I can crop. Okay. So that might help speed things up. You don't have to go to the crop tool up here. You can just hold down the alt key. So those are the two main ways. Now let me just back up again and I want to show you another way. It's kind of like a crop, but as you notice here, both of the ways I've just shown you, you can only, you can't create any additional points around whatever we're cropping, the video that we're cropping. You have to either drag in the sides or the corners, which, you know, when you drag a corner, you're actually dragging two sides at once. You're limited to a square or a rectangular shape. So if you want to crop to a different shape than that, there's a different way you'd have to do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to annotations annotations and then let's click and uh, drag a shape any old shape well since we already did uh, uh, I showed you how to crop to a square we won't use that so any other shape we'll go with a circle okay we'll drag that onto our canvas and I'm going to hold down the control key and grab a corner and actually I'm going to hold down control and shift to force it to a circle like this okay and with the I'm just going to place it over my face I think you know where I'm going with this um, so that is a shape. Uh, and if I want to crop to that shape, then you would just go up to visual effects and look for the media mat right here and drag that onto the shape. And now we've cropped the shape. Okay. Now, if you try to click and move this, that's just going to move the shape. It's not moving the cropped in uh, face, right? So what you'd have to do before you do that, let's just control Z to back that up. What you'd want to do, let's first stretch this shape on the timeline to match up with the entire video. And then we will select them both. We'll right click and we'll group them. Okay. So now that's a group. Now we can click and we can move this around. We can resize it like this and move it around. So that is another way that you can crop into a specific shape. And I didn't have to use a circle. I could have used a triangle, a star, any other shape that's there in the callout section. So now let me just back up here, go back to where we were right here. And now I'm going to show you another way. Uh, it, it's kind of the same thing, but I'm just taking it another step ahead. So if we go back to our annotations, okay, let's bring this circle back and we will make it a little bit larger. Now let's build a custom shape, right? And you can build a custom shape out of 
all the shapes that you see here in the callout section of Camtasia. So, um, for example, here's here's a circle shape. Uh, let's drag a, a triangle on as well. Uh, let's click and make it larger. Uh, let's maybe rotate it upside down like this. Use your imagination and create whatever shape you want uh, with, with uh, all of these shapes in here. Maybe let's grab another circle as well. Okay, I don't know. So let, let's say that is our custom, these three together make up a custom shape. What you would then do, let's highlight them all in the timeline, stretch them out to match up with the video on the timeline. Let's group these three shapes together, group like that. And now we can click and move this shape around. We can also resize it. In fact, we could crop it if we either click here or just click the option key, right? Same way we did at, at uh, in step one or step two. You could crop it like this, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is the same thing I did in the last step. We go to visual effects, grab the media mat and drop it on this custom shape. And here we go, a custom shape like this. And the same way we did before, we can click and right click and then group, right? And then we can resize this put it up in the corner if that's where we want it to be, and then press play just to see the video. Today's live stream will start at 1 p Okay, and that is another way you can crop. Now let's take this even a step farther. I'm gonna back this up all the way back again with Control Z. I just keep pressing Control Z to go back to where we were. There, so here is our video again. Now this time, I wanna show some animation in conjunction with the crop. So let's say we want this video to be cropped. Let's say we want to crop in the side. I'm going to press the crop tool here, highlight our video. Let's crop this in. Let's say I want this like this. I'm sorry, let's go back to select. I'm going to hold down shift and just move this horizontally. Let's say I want to move that to the side like this but I want to animate it to that position, okay? I've already, I've already moved it to where I want it to be, so now what I can do, this is kind of the reverse of what I would normally do, but you can do it this way as well. If we go to animations and bring down a custom animation, okay, we've kind of defined the finishing position of our animation. We want it to end up like this for the purposes of perhaps putting some text off to the side here. So let's just quickly go in, um, where are we here? Let's go to favorites and grab some text uh, over here. And text goes here. Okay, let's say we wanted to put some text here. Okay, we'll make it a little larger. Okay, so now let's go back and finish this animation. So we have our finishing position like this. Let's put the playhead at the beginning, okay? And here we wanna put this back to the way it was before we started cropping and moving and whatnot, okay? So that's why I would normally apply the animation before I, I set up the position of where I want it to end up, but that's okay, we can do this backwards. And the way we can do this is with the beginning highlighted, Let's go up to our image. We'll click the crop tool. Let's stretch this back out to fill the entire uh, video. And then we will come over here in position and we can see it's only the X position that has changed. And you can click this little button here that will put that back to zero. And there it is back to where we started. I'm gonna select the select tool again. And now let's just see what we have. I'll go through the questions I received during the last week. And like that. So that's how you can use animation in conjunction with crop to get a nice little effect. Uh, and to take that just one step further, if we go back to our media, this is a, um, a sound effect that we can drag down here and probably put it at the beginning here like this and just adds a little bit something extra. Questions I received during the last week. Okay, I did not put that in the right place. The animation starts here, so let's move the sound effect back a bit and try that. Eastern. I'll go through the questions I received during the last... Okay, maybe we move it a little bit like this. 
I'll go through the questions I received during the last week. Okay, like that. Now, one last animation I want to show you, and this is really cool. This is actually a question that somebody had in one of my live streams, um, and that is the with the with the circle mask. Uh, I, I'm going to show you how to animate from full screen down to a circle mask. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to erase what I had here. Let's reverse this. So this is what we're starting with. And I'm also going to bring this down a little bit like this. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so now the first thing we want to do is go grab a circle shape. So we'll go up to annotations and we will find our circle right here. Drag that onto the canvas. Let's resize it holding control and shift or command and shift on a Mac. Okay, now let's bring this down so the circle is right about there. Now that is where we want the circle mass to end up. Actually, it's an intermediate position. Okay, so with that set there, or let's move this shape back to the beginning. Let's stretch this out actually to cover the entire video. Now a shortcut for an animation again is Shift A. So let's just go ahead with the playhead here. Let's press Shift A. That drops a custom animation here. Okay. Now let's put the playhead at the beginning of this animation. So now at the beginning, what I want to do is I want to enlarge this. I'm going to hold Control and Shift. Let's make this way bigger until it completely covers the screen. Okay. So now I think you can guess what's going to happen if I play this animation now. Let's just play it through. Today's live stream will start at one. Okay, get the idea there. So now let's drop our media mat on that. Go to visual effects, media mat, bring that down to the circle shape. Okay, and this is what we have. Hi there. Today's live stream will start at one. Okay, so if we want that to happen a little quicker, we'll just click and make that, we'll drag that arrow a little bit smaller. Okay. Today's live stream will start. Now the other thing, uh, I noticed that the motion was linear. I could tell because I've seen that before. And uh, I like I like easing to be applied. I think it looks better. So let's right click the arrow, go to animation easing. Oh, it is set to auto. Okay, I must have uh, I must have missed that. Let's just see what that looks like again. Okay, no, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another animation. Let's go up to animations, grab a custom animation, bring it down. And now this one, I'm going to take this circle mask and I am going to move it. Whoops. See what happened? Control Z, back that up. Uh, let's remove this animation. Let's group this with the video, right click and group. Okay. Now let's find where that animation ended right here and let's click and drag down a new animation and at this point we'll click and I'm going to make it smaller and put it say up in the right corner okay so now let's see what we've ended up with hi there today's live stream will start at 1 p.m. Eastern I'll go through the there you go and of course you can add the sound effects like I did before um, to make it sound even better and to really sell the effect. And that is a clever way to use animations and crop uh, together uh, to create something that looks pretty cool. And you can put that on top of a screen recording and do a tutorial video. If you want more tips like this, come join me on Tuesdays for my weekly live stream. I live stream every Tuesday here on YouTube, sharing my screen and doing how-to tutorials. I show you how I make my videos and I answer any questions you have live. So if you're looking to level up your videos, join me on Tuesdays. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. I'll see you soon.